Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Park Studio. In this case, I'm going to show you how you can work with the uh, SketchUp 2023 for free. So, I'm going to delete this character in here and before I start my 3D modeling, I'm going to change my unit setup. So, I will go to the window bar model info units and change my lens from meter to centimeter this job takes a second than you so be patient and do this job carefully so after that i will close it and start my modeling with the rectangle so i will click on the rectangle origin point and left click on my cursor and draw my rectangle at the right side bottom i can change the number and dimensions of it so I need some rectangle with some dimensions about 300 comma 500 and press enter and after that I'm going to use the extrude option for extruding the face of this job so I will click on the a push or pull option in here press control on my keyboard and increase the height of these box so something about 300 centimeter is really good and I press space to exit from this action so now I want to create some type of ramp or angle for my roof so I will select one of these lines in here click on the move option press ctrl and take some copy to the midpoint so now I want to left click again and move it on the uh, blue axis so I can move it easily on the blue axis about 100 centimeter and everything is done for me right now after that I can select these lines together very simple and easy and take some another copies about 10 centimeter after that I can click on the push or pull option and move these edges to the other side about 44 centimeter as you can see we do this job in sketchup very simple and easy only in a few seconds after that i want to add some type of details in front of this house so we imagine this is the uh, woody house and we want to create some type of woody cabin so i will select this line in here Take another copy on the back side, about 16 centimeter. Extrude it about 6 centimeter. And another time, extrude it about the uh, 144 centimeter. So, as you can see, we create this type of stand for here. And now I want to convert all of these model to the uh, simple group. So, I will click and create some box like that right click and convert it to the make group as you can see now we have some type of separated group in here and i can create my another 3d models in here like the deck and the stairs so i will use the rectangle job again but this time i can create some type of rectangle with some dimension about 60 comma 60 and extrude it about 2 meter so I will type 200 centimeter and I want to click on the line option in here draw some line from here to here select these lines and click on the uh, follow me option and select this face in here as you can see, now we create this type of stand and deck for our woody cabin. So I can delete these extra lines in my environment like that. Very simple and easy and it's really good for my job. So I will click on it, convert it to the another group in here. So now I want to click on the line option in here and draw some lines on these lines again about for example 200 something like that and now I want to click on it move it a little bit to the upstairs about 10 centimeter so 
Now I want to click on the rectangle option again and draw some box about 6.6. .6. Select all of these lines and faces. Click on the follow me option and add it to here. So now you can select these all of them together. Click on the move option and take some multi copies about for example 16 centimeter or 14 centimeter or 12 centimeter and type 5x and press enter now we have these type of fences in our 3d model and it's really wonderful and realistic so i can hold shift and deselect these two models in here click on it and make another group in here very simple and easy so all the jobs done for us right now and i think time for the uh creating some type of details for example i can use the rectangle to create some type of holder like that about three centimeter and move it to the downside another one about four centimeter convert it to the group and everything is done for us right now so I want to generate and create some type of stand and columns for my job. For this reason, I'm going to use components. What is the components? Look at this. When I click on the rectangle and draw some rectangle on my favorite face, for example, 10, 10, click on it and convert it to the component and press create. When you click on the move option and take some different copies in different distance, for example, 80 centimeter for four times or five times. Now, when I click on one of them and start editing and detailing, all of them will be detailed at the same time. And it's really wonderful for saving your time and don't wasting your time on different type of modelings. So 4 cm for it, click on the offset job, add some another detail about 1.6 cm, another time about 6 cm, and another offset about 1 cm. So I will click on the pusher pull and add it to the downstairs like that, and this is the final result that we have in here. It can help you in many type of projects when you don't have any time for your job. So finally, we need to create stairs for this house. So I will use the rectangle again and draw some rectangle like that, for example. So I will click on the push or pull option and push it about 16 centimeter. Fix it with this part of my house and continue it to this place so i can take some copies for example when i click on the move option and take the full copy i can see 60 centimeter so when i divide it in my mind to the f3 i can absolutely type 20 enter and 2x so now i can extrude them very simple and easy with some different dimensions for example something like that for example something like this so and this is the final result that we can have in here so as you can see we create this house i think under than maybe 10 minutes and for other type of details you can use sketchup again so you can download this file below this video i upload the link for you so thanks for your watching thanks for your support if you like this video, please subscribe our YouTube channel for more 3D visualizing tutorials. Thanks for your watching and goodbye.